Hi, I'm Stuart Knox, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is the Kaisler Wines, the Bogan Shiraz 2018 from the Barossa Valley in South Australia. Kaisler Wines has been around for a very long time. Uh, the winery or the vineyards were planted, some, the start of them were planted in 1899 and the Kaiser family actually ran the vineyards through till the late 1980s. It changed hands a couple of times in amongst there, but then um, Reed Bosworth, Boz as we call him, took over the thing and has really, he's been the one that's put the, put the vineyard and the winery really on the Australian wine map. There's a variety of vineyards that they're drawing from, their oldest, as I said, is 1899. Their youngest vineyards that they're drawing fruit from is from 1965. So these are seriously old vines from top to bottom. And uh, Reed's not shy. He certainly is the one that makes his Shiraz the way people expect Barossa Shiraz to be. They're big and bold, much like Reed is too. Um, and if you ever get a chance to go down and meet him, he's much, a much entertaining character, that's for sure. Okay, let's have a little look see here. Well, that's definitely classic Barossa Shiraz. I can't see a thing through it. There's some lovely purple tinges. It's staining the glass. So we're certainly dealing with uh, some, some concentration and extraction here. Lovely nose. There's plums and blueberries, some dried herbs as well a little bit of dry dust and almost a sort of uh, a sort of a boudinoir blood sausage sort of savory element there as well. One thing I love about Reed's wines is they are always big and they are all intense and uh, concentrated but they're never they're never overworked. They're not they're not stewed or cooked at all. There's still a lovely freshness on them. Let's see how this goes on the palate. As expected, it's a big boy. It's certainly got lots of really concentrated dark fruit. There's a lovely firm tannin profile around the outside, and it's that mid core of fruit really flows through. It's probably not quite the same intensity that I'd like from the back palate. The front has got lots to go for it. It does fade a little bit into the back palate, but it's a hell of a lot of wine in a glass like that. So it's certainly a lot to a lot to chew on. We rated this one at 93 points, which is a lovely silver ribbon. It's one of the top rated wines and it's number 27 of 116 from the 2018 vintage Shiraz from the Barossa Valley. Drinking window is from now through till the uh, 2033, so plenty of time for this one. It's under cork, uh, so you've got to be a little bit aware of that, but a wine that will certainly go go for a long time in the cellar. Um, it'll develop more, that, that really boisterous dark fruit will fade away and it'll develop some nice sort of savoury leathery tones as it goes on as well. Okay, we've got a food match here from Boz and it's very specific, it's cheese Kranskis, specifically from the Lynx Central Butcher in uh, Nuriutpa. Now Lynx Butcher is very famous in the Barossa for its, uh, its Kranskis and all its cured meats. And uh, I have had the pleasure of a cheese Kransky from there and it's a fantastic delight. Um, possibly we don't all have access to uh, Lynx's cheese Kranskys. Uh, so I'd be thinking with this like a, a lovely beef Wellington with all the trimmings or actually a nice plate of hard cheeses. This is, this is sort of a wine that I'd almost think to lean towards doing cheese plates with this one. So it looks like I better go and find the cheese plate in the fridge right now and get this wine finished off.